Not so just up ahead, you can see the Colorado River there on the left. The mighty Colorado. 2,300 kilometers of river stretching from the snowy peaks of America's Rocky Mountains all the way to the Sea of Cortez in Mexico. A place to play and one of deep spiritual significance. That's worth coming up for. Me, to me, it's life, man. It's being happy down here. The Colorado is a lifeline for the United States' arid southwest. 40 million people and counting rely on it. But the river is under threat. At the northern end of Lake Powell, the stark reality of the water crisis facing America's southwest is beyond denial. The reservoir's waters once filled the valley below, supporting a thriving tourism industry centered around a bustling marina. 20 years into the mega drought, this is all that's left. All along the Colorado, livelihoods are hanging in the balance. I have dreams about it. I wake up, it's the first thing on my mind. A once unimaginable worst case scenario is now a real possibility. If the levels of the Colorado continue to plummet, millions of people could find themselves without power or water. Something has to give. It is extremely hard to look anybody in the eye and say your way of life is threatened and your way of life may not be able to proceed. We're hitching a ride deep into the Grand Canyon. We're guests of the Hualapai, the Native American tribe whose land this is. See you later on. Watch the bottom step. Ahead, a day of adventure on the river whose rapids helped carve this natural wonder. All right, group three. Let me get group three together. Uh, got your dry bag, everybody. Our guide is Jordan Marshall. He's a 34-year-old father of eight. The Colorado runs along the edge of the Hualapai Reservation, providing the tribe with a vital source of tourist revenue. Well, what we're going to do is when we go through the rapid is that we're going to have you lean forward. So what we want you to do is hold on like this. Trust me, people do fall out. So am I going to scream? So let's hope so. <laughs> I think you're more or less going to be drinking a lot of water. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. The rapids have their own names and legends. Honeymoon, Killer Fang, Separation. Okay, this is a class seven rapid. You can see why they call it <laughs> the mighty Colorado. <laughs> it's pretty impressive. The Hualapai call the Colorado River Hayatata, the backbone. They say there's things inside the water, you know, like a spiritual waking, like uh, some people feel, you know, blessed by it. But the story on everyone's mind is the one about the vanishing river. It's dropping drastically. 20, 18 years ago, that's how high the water was. It's dropping low. I remember last year we had water so low that we were we were actually walking our boats for about a mile. It does get a little scary, you know, to notice that the water is going away. And what about the tourism industry if the water levels keep dropping? Uh, I, I try not to think that too far ahead, you know, because, you know, for me, I'm always, I try to live in the moments now, so. I mean, it's, thinking about it right now is giving me that little scare about it, you know? Yeah. 